Thanks for watching Smart Fox TV. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Hi, this is Sally and welcome to our segment. What if we told you that one of nature's tiniest creatures might hold a solution to one of our planet's biggest problems? We're talking about plastic pollution, and the hero of the day is not who you'd expect. Meet the waxworm, an unassuming little caterpillar that could help us clean our planet. These little critters are usually known as pests in beekeeping. They munch through beeswax like a five-star meal. But there's something extraordinary about them, and it's that these guys can eat plastic. Now, let's talk about the science. Researchers have found that waxworms contain a special enzyme in their digestive systems. This enzyme can break down polyethylene, the most common form of plastic, into environmentally friendly substances. Imagine this enzyme as a sort of molecular pair of scissors, snipping the plastic into less harmful compounds. But before you think we should harvest truckloads of these guys, hold your horses as this isn't a quick fix. The scientific community is still figuring out how to take this phenomenon from the lab to the landfill. So, at this point, what's the big deal about these worms? These experiments show us that if we can safely and effectively harness this process, we're looking at a breakthrough method to reduce plastic waste on a monumental scale. The implications don't stop at waste management either. The biochemistry of these guys could impact fields from medicine to material science. That means we can find new ways to recycle materials, develop medical technologies, and so on. So next time you encounter a wriggling, unassuming worm, think twice before you write it off or squish it. It might just be a tiny hero in disguise. If you found this mind-blowing, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating tales from science, nature, and beyond. Welcome back to Smart Fox News. A young boy from Seattle returned home from a family vacation from the Big Island and he became emotionally connected to supporting the island and decided to make a lemonade stand. It started on a busy Seattle street on a Saturday where the response was absolutely prolific, which stunned the family. Soon, both of the parents took things a bit further and set up ways to donate online they also had his father and mother set up their corporate jobs to match whatever was made from selling lemonade. Soon, Ami and Edison had $17,000 to send to Lahana. A Pakistani man is a true hero with a dramatic cable car rescue after youth were stranded for 15 hours. Sanib Kahan and his older brother Nasir volunteered to rescue the remaining seven teens having some experience with such things for the cable car business themselves. The rescue took place in a remote Badagram district of northern Pakistan. Sahib and Nasir could then use the zip line to come close enough to help the teenagers escape the hanging metal box. One of the largest planets in our solar system will take center stage in the night sky this weekend presenting the perfect opportunity to set up a telescope. Saturn will reach opposition the point of its orbit when it appears in the opposite part of the sky as the sun and as a result the planet will shine all night long rising in the east around sunset and gradually gliding across the southern sky. The perceived meteor shower peaks this weekend. Here's how to watch. This weekend is the peak of the annual Proceed Meteor Shower, the beloved astronomical event that sends bright streaks of light streaming across the night sky. This year's show should be a good one, and mainly because the moon isn't going to interfere. That's all for Smart Fox News. This is Kim. Hi, this is Sally. Hello, this is Tracy. This is Shane. And thanks for watching Smart Fox TV. Stay, Stay foxy. foxy.